Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Tordoff and I am the 2018 to 2019 AQHYA Youth President and I'm here today joined with Katie Reynolds and she's going to talk to us a little bit about the Young Horse Development Program. Katie, can you explain what your role here is at AQHA? Yeah, so I am actually the Director of Youth Development in AQHYA, so it's really my pleasure to kind of oversee a wide array of uh, youth programs that we have that serve our youth membership, and that's everything from leadership to great engagement opportunities and programs like the Young Horse Development Program. And I grew up as a kid in the horse industry. I was actually a member of AQHA when I was a youth, and so um, I've spent my career in the horse industry, but it's really special for me to be able to come here and serve our global membership this way. Awesome. Yeah. So with that being said, can you tell us a little bit about the Young Horse Development Program and what it means, what it does? Yeah, it is a fabulous horsemanship program. It's an opportunity for youth to get a high quality um, yearling horse from a ranching heritage breeder and they are responsible for navigating almost a full year of a program where they lay the foundation for that horse and its um, training, they care for it, um, they have a record book and all of this was actually an idea that came forward from the Ranching Heritage Breeders because they really wanted a way to give back to the industry by connecting some deserving youth with high quality horses. And so from that idea, we built this structure of a program and it's really one of the things that I consider a flagship program for us with our youth and it's really unique in the industry the way that it does directly connect kids with great American quarter horses. Sure. Yeah. So with that being said, can you tell us a little bit about the skills that a youth that decides to participate in this program would be gaining? Yeah, it is um, really interesting. It is, it is like I said, a horsemanship program. And so throughout the program, we have a very structured approach where they are um, learning um, training, nutrition, how to care for that horse on a daily basis. They're responsible for health management. They track their expenses. Um, we provide them with uh, webinars and mentoring opportunities. And through it all, they're really responsible for meeting those deadlines, those standards. Um, for submitting written reports and even videos to us. So they really develop a wide range of skills and abilities, and it's really fun to see the kids grow along with their horses through this program. That's incredible. Yeah. So earlier you kind of touched on the topic of the relationship between the breeders and the youth that participate mm -hmm. in this. Can you kind of tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, it, it is very special. The breeders become part of this program because they're so dedicated to contributing to this industry and they want to give some great kids the opportunity to experience an American Quarter Horse. And so um, when the kids meet the breeders that they've been assigned to for the first time is usually the day that they pick up their horse, which of course is a fabulous way to start a relationship. It's very exciting. Um, from there, the kids are responsible for actually um, contacting their breeder at certain intervals to let them know how they and their horse are doing together. But mm -hmm. most of our kids really go above and beyond that because that bond has been formed by that breeder basically believing in them enough to give them a horse from their breeding program. And so we see that a lot of the youth and these breeders have regular contact, that they become very friendly, that the breeders really essentially mentor them as they kind of launch in their lifelong journey with this horse in particular and with American Quarter Horses overall. So it's very special. Awesome. So I would have to assume that the youth that participate in this really create a bond with their horses. When this is all said and done, do they get to keep the horse or do they have to send it back? Yes, no, they get to keep the horse. We actually um, make sure that they um, get the horse in their names, that that horse is registered, and we transfer that horse's papers into their names. So they receive this horse at the end of its weanling year. They are in the program through its yearling year, but that horse is theirs for the rest of its life. And we know that most of our past uh, participants um, that they bond, of course, very deeply with these horses um, because of all the time they spend with them and the effort and the ways that they grow together. And um, 
basically all of these youth participants keep those horses and they go on to do really wonderful things with them even as they grow up and they do different things they take them to shows they put them in their own breeding program they work um, cattle with them they take them to college and um, it's so cool to see all of these kids go on and do amazing things with these horse partners that they have that's incredible what a cool opportunity yeah. for people so what, how many youth participate annually in this program? Is it pretty large or just a few? Well, um, we have usually about 50 or 60 kids um, that participate annually in this program. The program size is mainly defined by the number of horses we have donated by Ranching Heritage Breeders. And so you can tell, you know, 50 or 60 horses annually, that's a, a really big commitment from our Ranching Heritage Breeders. Um, and so I would say it's on the smaller end of our program size, um, you know, versus some other involvement opportunities that we have. But each individual in this program really receives a lot of um, very focused uh, time from staff, from volunteers, from their breeders and their mentors. And so we actually seek to keep this program pretty competitive to get into and pretty exclusive so that we can really, um, you know, spend the time that we need to with each one of these youth participants. Sure. So let's say I'm someone that's interested in this program. How would I apply and when are applications due? Okay, so um, we have applications available on our website. It's aqha.com slash youth and then just click on Young Horse Development Program. Applications are due um, for priority deadline by August 15th of each year and the late deadline is October 1st. We have those staggered deadlines to allow as many people to apply as possible. So we go through a first round match with the horses that we have donated and then we go through a second round match and we take the very best applicants from each of those deadlines. So my advice, if you or anybody else wanted to apply, would be to start your application early. It's a pretty involved application because this is a big responsibility and as I said, it is a very competitive program. So start your application early, make it really detailed, really thoughtful, and very professional so that you have the best possible chance of being accepted. Awesome. So, Katie, to youth that decide to participate in this program, what exactly will they be doing over the course of it? We have um, actually a record book that we've established for this program to provide it some structure and some really definite guidance. So, they are challenged to to complete a range of requirements throughout the program, and that includes monthly reports, submitting photos of their horses, they will have mentoring opportunities, we'll ask them to attend webinars, um, they will shoot videos and um, submit information about how their horse is developing physically, um, and then they even have the opportunity to do some really fun stuff where they can get creative to earn some additional points in the program, and they submit whatever they want to us to try to earn as many points as possible. So that's just kind of a sampling of a lot of the different things in this program, um, but it's really fun and it's very carefully um, structured to allow our youth participants to gain as many knowledge and skills as they will need going forward in their journey with American Quarter Horses. What an incredible opportunity. Katie, thank you so much for taking the time today to talk to us. I hope you guys learned something. I know I did. For Thanks more for information, visit aqha.com forward slash youth. Thanks again. Thanks for having me.